hey, 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 hey. We're, we're rolling on yeah. both cameras. Put, uh, Camera throw the screen my way so I can just see. Yeah. What up, y'all? It's Lauren from Hoffer Food. And today I'm part of a special group collab on YouTube. It's the Vegan Brinner collab. It involves myself and about nine other YouTubers on here. Uh, Lisa from the Viet Vegan organized it, pulled it all together, got the inspo. And Brinner is, of course, breakfast for dinner. So the Vegan Brinner collab is all recipes that are breakfast for dinner. Who doesn't love breakfast for dinner? I remember eating pancakes when I was a kid for dinner and well, at the time, bacon, which I would never do now. But anyways, today I'm gonna show you how to make vegan breakfast lasagna for my recipe. And at the end of this video, you can check out some more ideas from the Viet Vegan, the Kale Sandwich Show, Sweet Simple Vegan, Meat Free Athlete, and some other channels as well. I'm gonna have a playlist on my channel that you can check out all of the recipes. So let's make this vegan breakfast lasagna. You may have seen it in my recent newsletter that went out a couple months ago. Uh, I'm not always going to take those exclusive recipes from the newsletter and make them into videos, but I thought this one is too good to not share with everybody. So let's get into it. So the first component of this lasagna is the sort of tofu scramble mixture that's gonna go in the layers. So you wanna crumble a brick of firm tofu and then add in a bunch of veggies and seasonings. So we're gonna add chopped leeks, some green onion, some green pepper, minced garlic, and finely chopped shallot. We're also gonna add nutritional yeast, onion powder, turmeric, sea salt, and ground pepper. So this right here is black salt or kalan namak, and it's used in, I think, Indian cooking. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but it is used in vegan cuisine to give a sort of egg-like taste. Now, I've never been much of a fan of the taste of eggs or the smell of eggs. This stuff stinks. But once it's incorporated into your food in a very small amount, it actually does add quite an interesting savory flavor and really mimics eggs. So I think it's pretty important in this vegan breakfast lasagna, so I am using it, but it is optional. And we're gonna continue to add it into the next thing I'm gonna make, which is kind of like a hollandaise sauce. So you just wanna combine this quite well to get all the seasonings into the tofu crumble. So for the hollandaise sauce, we are going to put everything in a saucepan, starting with non-dairy milk, vegan butter, tapioca flour to thicken it, nutritional yeast, ground mustard. We're gonna use white pepper, or you can use ground pepper. Sea salt. A little bit of turmeric in this. We're gonna add white wine vinegar. And lemon juice. So you're gonna whisk this all together, get it simmering and foaming, and then we're gonna add in vegan cheese shreds, which again is optional, but it makes it tasty. And we're gonna add a little bit more of the black salt or the kalan namak to give this sauce also a complimentary eggy taste. And you just wanna whisk it pretty constantly so that it doesn't burn or get stuck to the pot. So now we can add a little bit of black salt, and we're gonna add a cup of cheese shreds and then whisk it until those are melted and then take it off the heat. Okay, so there's our finished sauce. So the last step before we put together the whole lasagna is I'm just gonna brown up some of my favorite sausage. This is like an apple sage sausage and I'm gonna add maple syrup while I'm browning it up and it's gonna taste so good in the lasagna. You get like a little maple sweetness with all the savory eggy stuff. So there's just a bit of oil in the pan. So after a few minutes, just add some maple syrup and it'll really caramelize it. And then give it a toss to coat it in the maple syrup. And after about another minute, you can turn off the heat. It's so tasty. This is of course optional, but I mean, maple breakfast sausage and eggs is like classic breakfast, breakfast for dinner. So I wouldn't omit this from the lasagna. Okay, we're good. Now we can put it together in the baking dish. So the first thing you're gonna do is pour some of the sauce into the bottom of the pan and coat the entire bottom. So just get it all the way to the edges. This creates a nice base layer to get the bottom noodles nice and moist. This is an eight and a half by eight and a half dish. You're gonna need to break your noodles to fit. 
but it's fine, no one's gonna notice. So just slightly overlap them. So see how I've just like made a mess? It's fine, because it all gets baked and it doesn't really matter. Now layer the tofu, and you're gonna use about half of what's here. So a nice even layer here. And then take another half a cup of hollandaise sauce and drizzle that over the top. So now you're gonna do a layer of noodles and what you wanna do is do them in the opposite direction in the pan that you did the first layer, just so you're getting a bit of a cross pattern and then all the noodles really hold together well when you cut the pieces of lasagna out. So the next layer is gonna be all of the sausage and then drizzle another half a cup of sauce over top. Try to get it out to the edges so it seeps down the side of the pan as well. So we're gonna add some green. I've got baby spinach in here. You don't have to. Again, you can kind of put whatever you want in this. And we'll do another layer of noodles. Okay, now just kind of press it because you might be getting a little high up in the pan. Compress it all down. Now add the rest of the tofu on top and then spread that out. Then drizzle another half a cup of sauce over top of this. Now you should be able to use the noodles you have left from your package to do one more layer of noodles. It's getting pretty stacked, but it's all gonna fit and get nice and cooked down. So now you're gonna sprinkle about half a cup of cheese shreds on top, use the remaining hollandaise sauce to drizzle over top and then cover it in foil and bake it for 35 minutes at 425. So I just took it out of the oven. What you're gonna do is remove the foil. You're gonna add some salsa on top and some more cheese and then get the top nice and crispy by baking it for another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, my breakfast lasagna is ready. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat it. Now you should let it rest for just a little bit before you cut it because right now it's very soft and goopy in there. Just let it settle for like 10 minutes. There's the vegan breakfast lasagna, which you're gonna have for brinner, breakfast for dinner tonight. I am so hungry, I've been wanting to eat this for like the last 45 minutes that it was baking, and it's really hot. Oh my God, this is better than regular lasagna. It's like I'm eating in prison or something. Mmm. <laughs> this thing has everything. The tang from the hollandaise, the sweet maple sausage, pasta, there's noodles in there, a little bit of heat from the salsa, all the nice veggies. Oh my God. So, I need a knife, oops. Oh! I used brown rice lasagna, by the way. So it is gluten, oh it's not gluten free because it's sausage, but if you can get gluten free sausage, there you go. Mmm, so good. Okay, I am gonna eat the whole thing, but not right at this very second. I'm gonna wrap it up. So a few weeks back, I sent this recipe out in the newsletter because I've been sending out recipes every now and then only to newsletter subscribers. So. I'm trying to do it like bi-weekly. If you would like to get these recipes, sign up at the link in the description and make sure you're on the mailing list. Um, and so I decided to make this one into a video specifically for the Vegan Brinner collab, which the Viet Vegan organized. So thank you, Lisa, for doing that and for bringing me along for the ride. There are more Brinner ideas in the playlist linked on my channel as well as linked in the description here below. We've got something from the Kale Sandwich Show. Sweet Simple Vegan, The Viet Vegan, and many, many more. Things like breakfast tacos, breakfast nachos. I think we can all get down with the, with the Brinner. And if you're not on board, get on board because it's the best meal ever. Two meals in one, I guess. Breakfast, breakfast for dinner is its own category. Brinner. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Follow me on social media, at Hot For Food. Always posting things, sign up for the newsletter, subscribe, click the button right here in the corner. If you're not already subscribed, I'm here every Wednesday cooking, eating, loving, chewing. <laughs> Bye.